Hi there, featured in this video I speculate could be an ancient chevron shaped ruin I found on Mars. My name is Jean, thanks for joining me. This is the high rise photograph we'll be analyzing. Possible cinder cone on the southern flank of Pavonis Mons. I'll include the link to this page in the description below. And he has a short article. Uh, written about the cone 700 meters by 1,100 meters although that's not the anomaly we're going to be checking out acquisition date 20th of February 2007 at 50 centimeters per pixel and I'll be showing you cropped images from the black and white JP2 that's the uh, cinder cone that they write about in the article and then this is that uh, really strange geometric shape that we'll be checking out in this video so that's it zoomed in not to scale though but you can see the uh, this is really eroded and uh, there's the first chevron at the top and the bottom one over here and it looks almost as if uh, this area on the inside possibly collapsed many many decades ago maybe thousands of years ago who knows so could this have been um, like a square structure on top of the surface or wall sort of structure and then the center part collapsed as I say a really eroded shape but uh, plenty of geometry and symmetry in uh, these two chevrons so how does that happen in nature really strange so the top chevron a one to one scale you can check out uh, the top line coming to the corner and then going down diagonally to the bottom right and then you can see the center part looks as if it uh, got sunk somehow or collapsed then the bottom chevron shape so very very eroded Let's just quickly look at the gaps between these uh, two chevron shapes. This is 180 meters over here, give and take a couple of meters, and then this is about 350 meters on this side. And then I uh, also looked at the CTX or context camera image uh, that was taken of the same area. The cinder cone is over there, and those two chevron shapes are down there. So there's that uh, so called cinder cone, and then the two chevron shapes down here. And you can see from the CTX that there are no other shapes similar to this, no other similar geology. That's what uh, made me think this could be artificial, guys. So check that out. Nothing else uh, like it in this area. And it's massive. You can read uh, the description over here on the right. So that's it uh, zoomed in slightly and it reminds me of the similar anomaly that I found in Renado Crater. I did that video quite some time ago. I'll include the link in the description below. And uh, this was the chevron shaped object I found up close and also not to scale you can see the straight sides 
and the geometry in that shape, so that's about 300 meters per side. Also huge. Could these be similar type of structures? Quickly go over to Google Earth Mars and uh, check out those two chevron shapes. It's also on the Kanowski Orion's Belt ley line that uh, also feature in a couple of videos. So I encourage you to check that out. There's a Kanowski Kin uh, crater there. And the ley line runs through what we call the Orion's Belt because of the similar spacing and geometry of these volcanoes and uh, the stars in Orion's Belt. So there's the area that we just checked out and then uh, that other chevron in Renado is almost on the other side of the planet. That's right there guys. Quickly uh, measure the distance between those two sites, and then uh, you can also see from the line where these uh, anomalies are located. Uh, 8,200 kilometers separates these two areas, so that line goes over the North Pole. up there at Renado Crater. So quite a vast distance between those two sites. So the question is, could those um, chevron shapes be uh, some type of building methodology that they used in the ancient past? Or is it just uh, a massive coincidence and uh, are those actually natural? Really strange geology if it is natural. So guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.